All right, guys, I want to welcome you back to the last video in this series. I'm super excited you stuck with me the whole way. Um, so anyways, we're talking about metabolic flexibility, and we're talking about recovering from your adrenal fatigue nightmare, and we're talking about what is the formula. The formula is stress over glucose, and we talked about measuring that through heart rate variability. Heart rate variability is a whole other lecture series we'll get into on that for you, but really we're talking about what makes up stress. What makes up stress is our life. We call that the epigenetic factors. So anything that has to do with your body that's not your body. So we see anything other than yourself. That's what epigenetic environmental stress is. So that's bugs, that's chemicals, that's toxins, that's life load, that's physical injuries or physical trauma or physical, physical stressors, emotional stressors, chemical stressors. All of that contribute to the balance of parasympathetic and sympathetic are we those two can't exist at the same time and unfortunately the majority of our existence is in sympathetic fight or flight that causes a whole breakdown of your neurotransmitters and that's a whole other lecture series I hope you enjoyed this lecture series because this was talking about glucose and this was talking about insulin and this was talking about some of the most important things about what should I eat dr. Rosen I'm not sure should I go gluten free What's the best diet? Should I go the Mediterranean diet? Should I go the paleo diet? Should I go the specific carbohydrate diet? Should I go the autoimmune diet? What about ketogenic diet? What do you think's best for me? And what I'm going to tell you is what's best for you is whatever keeps you most metabolically flexible. And like we talked about in this lecture series, insulin is very genetically determined, your sensitivity, meaning um, if we both eat a high-carb meal and... Um, you know, your insulin level can go up to 250 millimoles and mine only may go to 75 millimoles because I'm a lot more sensitive, but our fasting glucose may be the same. Over time, when your fasting glucose or my fasting glucose stays elevated, then what's happening is we're having a pouring out of glucose from the, from the liver um, at a higher rate than baseline and we're, ex we're getting rid of it, which is good, but it's always high. And that's, you got to think about what are you eating? Are you eating too much? Are you eating too often? Are you eating processed food? Are you eating very contaminated oil food? Are you eating way too much proteins? Are you eating good food? If it's good food, are you eating too much of it? Are you having too much protein? Um, what is your blood glucose levels? How many calories have you been taking? How many carbs do you get into a zone where you're, what is your glucose levels? Are you measuring your ketone levels? Um, what stresses you out? How's your life load? Are you physically exhausted? Are you doing too much exercise? Are you doing too little exercises? These are all the things we want to teach you in these lecture series and I hope you're finding it very, very valuable. This whole one was on glucose and was on getting you to go into intermittent fasting. Now you're saying, okay, I want to know how do I do that? How do I do that? That's where you're going to have to come and join me and do whatever program we have that's offering that right now. But in the meantime, I can tell you, you want to start to lower your calories. You want to start to know your calories. You want to start to know what your glucose levels are at. You still want to know um, if you are, are stressed out. You want to know, um, are, you know how that impacts your blood glucose levels. You want to know, uh, how, you, you want to know what, what's going on. You want to know all these things. Then you want to start to push the time at which you have your... your, your here's the thing that I really want people to know. I want you to calibrate your brain. I want you to calibrate the fact that you know that when you're starving, it's a physiological hunger and your glucose levels are low and your ketone levels are low and it's time to refeed. I want you to realize you've been getting good oxygen, you've been getting good nutrients, you've been good doing good stress relieving, you're keeping yourself hydrated, you've got good minerals, you've got good absorption, you've got good B vitamins on status on, on board, you've got B12 and iron, you've got good proteins, you're not getting too much of it, you're metabolically flexible. That's what we're trying to achieve. That's what I'm trying to teach you, and that's what I want to teach you to teach other people what to do so that you're living the life and fulfillment at your terms. It means you're doing, and that's what it really comes down to. What is it that you want to do in your life? What is it that you're missing out on? Do you want to travel more? Do you want to go back to school? Do you want to not just get out of bed and, and make a contribution to, to society? But what is it that you are put on this planet to do? That's what we're teaching you. So 
join us. Hope you enjoyed the lecture series and make sure you take the next step in our adrenal fatigue society and your adrenal fatigue recovery. My name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I hope you enjoyed this lecture series and I look forward to helping you recover from your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Take care.